this video, I want to show you how to play the melody for the Irish jig, the Wren's Nest. This is a tune I learned over 20 years ago, and I still love playing it. And it's written by the great fiddler of the band The Dunnan, Frankie Gavin. And uh, also, I got the kind permission from Simon Haynes to, to cover this um, video and cover this tune, I would say. So thank you so much. And I also think you should check out the, the Dunnan version. And uh, in this, we're gonna uh, like show you how to play it. And also wanna leave you with some small details about playing triplets here in the for the Irish jigs. So here we go, the melody for the Wren's Nest. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. And for an enhanced learning experience, check out Mandolin Secrets Academy where you find the sheet music, the tabs, play along backing tracks for this tune and all the other videos here at the YouTube channel. So check it out, you find the link below and you can also go to the website mandolinsecrets.com forward slash academy. The Irish jigs is in the 6-8 meter and um, that means we're using the picking pattern like down, up, down, down, up, down, that kind of thing. And the Wren's Nest is a melody in uh, in E Dorian mode. If you're curious to learn more about the Dorian mode, we have a specific video for that coming up. But now focus on the melody and let's start by listening to me playing through it twice. And the, the structure for this fiddle tune is A, B, C. So it's three parts coming here for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yes, you can hear my approach to this tune is a little bit more progressive. I've got more like chords and bass line attached to it, but I think it's a really, really, really good <laughs> jig. So hopefully you're going to enjoy playing it as well. I want to leave you with some trade secrets about the triplets that I'm including in this melody. When I'm referring to the triplets, it's this thing that I'm talking about. You hear there already in the second bar. Ta 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 ti, ta 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 ti. 
and it's not even a triplet but it's an ornament used in Celtic and Irish music a lot and uh, for the jigs we're using this down up down picking pattern there's a specific lesson about that and I put a link to the to that below here but uh, so what happens when we're playing this ornament? So it's then we're like almost like evening out this down up down thing to a down up down up. This is all written in the PDF and I think it will you will get it if you're following along there. But here's how it's played slow. And continuing. And uh, there is triplets that I included in all three parts. And in the B part, it's coming in bar number three. And Typically, you can choose if you're playing the triplet or not. You can even play this phrase like... Right? So the B part... And with the triplet... So there's, this is like an ornament, as I said, and I included a triplet in each one of the parts so you have a chance to, to practice and study it. But once you can do this freely, you can include it more on like an improvised basis. I also quickly said this is the Dorian mode, and if you're not familiar with the modes, it's a good idea to check it out. We have a specific lesson for the E Dorian mode coming out. But also, maybe my program, Fretboard Success, is a good fit for you. So I put a link to that below if you want to check it out. you also find information at the website. But uh, one thing you could do right now is only play the E Dorian mode a couple of times before learning the melody, like this. If I should explain the Dorian mode in a music theory way, that what differs the Dorian mode from the natural minor scale is that the sixth note is sharp and not flattened. That is the natural minor in the Dorian mode. There's a C sharp. But enough of music theory, let's now go into the slow version of this tune. And I think you can pay attention to the picking direction as a, and the triplets that I showed you there. So here we go, slow version. One, two, three, four.
yeah my friend there you got it and as i said i really enjoy playing this one and um also i think learning here in the slow version playing along with me with a play along track and then you will eventually also try in the faster tempos but it will maybe take some time to get used to this the jig pattern the down up down thing but um, there's no better way of, of uh, getting into it than learning a, a tune like this so have so much fun with it as always if you like the video hit the thumbs up and we would also be very happy if you would like to leave a comment below letting us know how you find this tune and how you find playing irish jigs on your mandolin or even the octave mandolin i would say the the melody suits the octave mandolin as well thank you so much for watching see you in a new video soon